Okay, in terms of the threats to access control and uh, sort of an introduction as to what we have to do in regard to uh, access control and uh, keeping it controlled, I suppose. Um, password crackers are uh, one of the things that uh, I suppose is more uh, traditional now than uh, actual, although people are, you know, doing various ways and means of, of uh, breaking uh, passwords and password control and so as well as, uh, you know, running password crackers, uh, possibly we have to consider are we um, looking at uh, multi-factor authentication? Are passwords no longer good enough? And that argument has been going on for quite some time in regard to, uh, you know, whether or not passwords are passe. Um, as uh, one person has said, uh, the only reason we're still using passwords is because they're free. And in terms of security, you get what you pay for. So, uh, yeah, we've we've got to consider that, you know, whether uh, passwords are something that we should still be using, or uh, you know, but if if we are, uh, you know, how do we ensure that they are strong enough? How do we ensure that they are backstopped, uh, possibly, with multi-factor authentication? Um, and of course. Uh, you know, cracking passwords is just one form of spoofing, of, of uh, asserting uh, that your identity is authorized in some way, uh, that you have uh, an identity that is authorized, that uh, you are someone who should have access in, in a variety of ways. So, uh, all kinds of spoofing and... and of course, spoofing. Um, we're looking at that in, in terms of social engineering as well. You know, it's not just the uh, technology, it's, just, it's not just breaking the password, but there are uh, a variety of aspects to spoofing and uh, a variety of ways to do it, um, to impersonate, to uh, masquerade your identity in some way. Um, now, uh, there is, of course, always the uh, technical ability to uh, just sniff traffic work. So, you know, uh, sniffing of, of uh, you know, all kinds of network traffic and, and seeing is how, you know, the these days, the computer is the network, or the network is the computer. Um, you know, it's hard to say where the lines are drawn, but certainly um, the uh, communications channels that we use in very, very many ways um, uh, allow for all kinds of, of sniffing. And there's, you know, specialist uh, tools in this regard. Are we dealing with uh, password sniffing? Are we just dealing with traffic sniffing? What is it that, um, uh, you know, we, we need to protect? Um, and, uh, you know, what are the, the different ways that uh, people can get access that they really shouldn't have? Um, in, in regard to to this in a very similar way um, you know there is the uh, data that is being uh, read in transmission uh, and that's the the sniffing but there's also the data that's being read when we reuse objects and object reuse uh, we'll talk about it uh, again in uh, some detail in uh, application security because of course uh, sometimes the object is simply a memory location and we reuse memory. We, you know, if we don't do proper garbage collection, if we don't uh, clear it out first, 
there is the possibility of, of someone obtaining information that way. But, uh, you know, we have uh, physical objects that get reused or in some cases just discarded. And, and uh, there have been all kinds of studies of people going to uh, recycling centers and obtaining uh, uh, sometimes hard drives, uh, sometimes uh, networking uh, devices, uh, switches and routers and, and so forth these days um, that hold an awful lot of information. And we've got, we've got passwords, we've got uh, network traffic, we've got network uh, maps, uh, you know, all kinds of things that we are giving away when we give away or, or recycle equipment. So object reuse, reusing objects. Uh, there's many types of objects that get reused and uh, we have to make sure that the reuse of these objects don't um, compromise our security by giving away information as well as the objects. Uh, so, uh, and in, in that regard, uh, again, related to the object reuse is data remnants. The uh, fact that we don't clear out um, uh, memory locations, physical objects, uh, whatever it may be, that, that we are not um, paying attention to uh, th what data remains in, in certain situations. And even on our, our storage materials, our backups, our, uh, uh, you know, and, and backups are a good thing. Backups are a, a safety feature, but um, if we've got our backups and we haven't paid attention to uh, whether or not uh, those backups still contain data. Um, and, uh, you know, in terms of the backups, what do we do to protect that? The uh, simplest thing, of course, is just to encrypt the data when, when you store it, when you make the backup. And uh, very often people don't do that, and then they lose the tapes, and then there's a great hue and cry, and those of us who uh, work in this field are always sort of wondering, you know, why did you not, you know, if this information was so important to you, why did you not encrypt it? Why didn't you protect it? Uh, so all, all of those types of threats uh, in regard to uh, our, our systems, our networks, our, you know, operations in, in general, and that is not uh, the only threats that we have to address.